Today's sponsor is SiteGround.com. They provide one-click installers, 24-7 support, excellent security, and free website transfers. Check out the link in the description below. So you want to create a WordPress slider? Well, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to do that with Advanced Custom Fields and BX Slider. So my name is Cliff Kennedy, and welcome to WP Cliff Notes. In this two-part series, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress slider with Advanced Custom Fields free version and Advanced Custom Fields Pro version. So with all of that said, let's get started. All right, guys, let's jump into the first video of two videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the free version of Advanced Custom Fields to create a slider. So first off, what we'll do is we'll go to the back end and you'll install Advanced Custom Fields. And if you search for it here, it will come up and you will add it here. You will search for advanced custom fields, activate it, and next, there are many sliders out there. I, my preferred slider is BX slider. Uh, you can use any slider of your choice. And I always go to the GitHub account. And we will go to the disk folder. We will copy the minified CSS or minified jQuery I'm sorry and we will paste it right here right here over the top of this one which I've already done I've already pasted it in here so there we go and then we will go to our CSS and I use SAS and if you guys want to in further videos for me to show you how to implement SAS into a WordPress theme I can do that just let me know in the uh, comments below and I will get a video out showing you how to do that we're gonna add the CSS so we are gonna go to partials and global actually we're gonna go to jQuery plugins because that's what this is and we are gonna add the CSS which I already have it so but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it so we will go here back to the the github we will go back to the disk folder and copy the non-minified CSS and go back to our project in our editor and by the way guys I'm using uh, PHP storm and you can use any um, any editor you want to I'm also using BX slider and but you can also use any slider you want to so um, next we're gonna copy the CSS paste it in here save it we are going to I've already enqueued the the CS the JavaScript I didn't show you that but um, let me go ahead and show you that I have enqueued it because um, that's what you want to do or your JavaScript will not show up so let me show you where I've enqueued it right here and you can see I've enqueued the custom JavaScript right here so it'll show up 
and I'll put it there and next I'm going to get the example so I'm gonna copy this here gonna paste it here on top of that and I'm going to paste this right here which I've already done and I've actually put a little bit of um, extra controls in here or options so you can do that or not and when we go and refresh the screen our slider should work check that out perfect all right so now that we have all the CSS all the JavaScript and all the HTML working we are going to implement the advanced custom fields so since we already have it activated we go to custom fields custom fields and we're gonna go to home page because we've already created um, a field group because you'll always want to create a field group first you will go to add new and it'll come up with a new page like this you'll type in the name of your field group and then start creating the fields but since we already have a field group we're gonna go back to custom fields and we're gonna edit the field group so there are a lot of options in advanced custom fields and if you want to know more about these options I actually have a video in a card above so I will link to that card above so right now we are going to delete this custom field and start from new so with the free version you're gonna have to create three different custom fields because there's there's no repeater in the free version that only comes in the pro version so we're gonna have three custom fields where you can upload three different images and then if you want to add more sliders you have to come in here and add more fields I know that's a pain to add more fields but with the free version you're limited so you have to do with what you got we're gonna add a custom field we're gonna call this slide one and we're gonna make it an image field and add field actually we're gonna hit update because the cool part about this is oh if you want to add a link we'll do that too add a slide link slide one link and there you go and then all we'll do is we'll duplicate this field move it down Take this out. Change this to two. And just come right down here. Because the cool thing is it automatically fills in this field, the field name with whatever this field says. And it puts underscores where the spaces are. So don't duplicate that field, duplicate that field. Do the same thing, edit, change this to two, and then delete this, come back up here, press tab, and there must be a space up here, yep, because there was a space that put an underscore down here, and we don't want that, so, and then we'll come up here and do the same thing, duplicate slide down edit 
Change that to three. Delete this. Make sure there's no space. Hit tab. And there we go. And then we'll just duplicate this one. Slide that down. Take that out. Edit. And there you go. You got all three of your slides. And we want to make sure we assign this to the correct page template. So this is the home page template, is where we want them to be. Hit update. And we're also going to say hide everything. We're going to say hide the content editor because we don't want that. So we'll hit update. And then we'll come here. Open this in a new window. I like to have my, my edit field group in one window and my page that I'm editing in another. It makes it easier. So there we go, there's your slide image one, slide image two with the link. There we go, there we go. Perfect. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add the custom fields with the link to the code. One thing I wanna say before we start doing that is I found a cool plugin um, to go along with advanced custom fields that's called advanced custom fields theme code and what that does is if you say it adds this little link right here and when you click this it shows the code that you need to implement your implement your advanced custom fields which is really really cool so that's just a little added bonus in this video to help you guys out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say we're gonna copy this and gonna go to our editor and we're adding gonna add the custom fields so right here we're gonna take this and we're gonna paste that right there And we're actually gonna put this inside of here that way if this field is filled out then it won't then it if it's not filled out because this says if this field is filled out then show all of this code so we don't want this div to show if this image isn't filled out so we're going to do the same thing oh we need to add the link around the div or around the image so we will go href and then we're gonna go back here and we're gonna grab this field and put it here and we're gonna close that and then we'll just cut this put it here and just to save us some time we'll just copy this paste it here change this to two Two, 
do. And then we'll just do the same thing for the third link. Actually, we want to say three here. Alright, now, when we come to the home page, there's nothing. Which is what we want. So, we're going to go here to the edit screen, and we're going to add an image. I have an image right here that I grabbed. And, we're going to select that one, and then select two. We're going to do this this one and then I'm gonna select this one again so if we update this you should have at least some images refresh and there we go so the images should work there we go perfect so we have our slider now and you can style it however you want. I don't have the links in there. Your slider is done. I hope this tutorial has made web development and WordPress development simple, fun, and easy for you. If you like this video, you can subscribe in the link below. And please share this video to let others know how easy it is to create a slider. Until next time, this is Cliff Kennedy signing off. Talk to you later.